Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm here in the patch office at Spencer, West Virginia, and you know what? I don't know about you and where you're at, but I am so tired of winter days being dark and wet and gray and snowy. I'm, I'm just done with it, you know, right? Right. And Groundhog's Day was not too long ago, and remember French Creek Freddy? French Creek Freddy said an early spring. I'm holding French Creek Freddy to that because, well, after Groundhog's Day, it's been horrible. It's been wet, it's been snowy and gray and ice and cold and yuck and I'm over it. So we need to call like Winter Wizard and say, look, French Creek Freddy saw his shadow, so let's get spring on board because we're done with winter, right? Right. So, to be done with winter, I decided I was going to get a book that had absolutely nothing to do with gray. And gray's my favorite color. And I mean, come on. Uh, snow is not in the book that I'm going to read. And my book that I'm going to read happens to be about the color that we are all ready to see. Any ideas? Green, that's the name of my book. Green all around, because that's what we want, right? Right, we're over it, we're done, we're past it. Let's move on. And let's say, Penny, move on, let's get the book going, right? Right, all right. This book was written by Kieran Kiley, and it's called Green All Around. Look at that dog, he looks silly there. It's funny, isn't it? And this is kind of like a book, I believe it was, I got it from, we've had it at Building Blocks for years, and it was part of what's called here, Yellow Readers, and it's talking about um, words making a pattern and sight words and how important it is for us to learn our sight words so we know um, it helps us in our pre-reading, okay? So you're going to see a lot of repetition, and the words that we're going to see a lot of in this book is the word the, and you'll see it right here. T H E, the. Another one's going to be is, I S, is. And then the word, color word, green. G R E E N, green. So over and over through this book, we're going to see and we're going to practice being able to read it together. And I'm going to point to the words the, is, and green. Okay? All right, let's get started. Right here, we'll say the park is green. You guys can read it with me. You ready? The plant is green. And boy, doesn't that look like a pretty sight. Oh, all the leaves on the trees. It's beautiful. Okay. The bicycle is green. And then like this middle word, if you're not, you know, we're, we're learning to read. So if we don't know those words, you can look up at the picture and that'll help you along too, okay? The, who do you think that's gonna be? That word right there. Banana, you're right. The banana is green. It's pretty shades of green in this book. The, what's that one? You're right, the shoe is green. The window is green. You guys are so smart. I hear you out there reading the book right along with me. The boat is green. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh. The fish is green. I'm not exactly certain if I want to be in the water with that green fish. But look, looks like he's got a big smiley face, doesn't it? Looks like a friendly fish. So let's back with our words. The light is green. The door is green. That's a pretty shade of green, isn't it? This book makes me happy. It makes me think that spring is right around the corner and we can do it. The truck is green. The tractor is green. Mm. I want you guys to think about what green things do you have around your house? See if you can find some green things laying around your house. The paint is green. The per 
purse is green. Ooh, that's a fancy shiny purse, isn't it? All right, the end. Okay, but now right here it says, I can use the first letter sound to match the word to the picture. All right, well, let's try, let's work on that a little bit. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, first word we have, D-O-O-R. What sound does the D make? D, D. So it's, we've got a truck, a d door, bananas, a light, and plant. So what one do we think that is? Right, door. So we would match it to door. Okay, our next word, L-I-G-H-T. And our L makes the L sound. So say the words, say the look at the pictures, say them over to yourself. Truck, door, banana, light, and plant. So what one was that one? You're right, it was light. It was for the green light. You're so smart. Okay, now the next word. T-R-U-C-K. And that T and the R is gonna go together, gonna make the tr, tr sound. So what do you think that's gonna be? Truck, you're right. You got that one without even going down and saying the words. Okay, our next word. P-L-A-N-T. You got the P and it's gonna make what sound? It makes the P sound. Oh, there it is, right, plant. And our last word, B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -N -A. And our B makes the B sound, and what's it gonna to match to? Bananas, that's right, good job, okay. And on this last page here, it said they were calling these things power words. How many can you read? Well, we can read these words because we did them in repetition. We did them over and over throughout the book. Let's, so let's see if we can remember them. The, because we got an uppercase T. Okay, right here. It's T-H-E, the. Well, right here, T-H-E. But it's a lowercase T. But you know what? It's the same word. It's spelled the same, the. Then we have I-S, what was it? Is, right, and this last one, G-R-E-E-N. Green, that's right, good job. So see, you've got the words down, the, is, and green. Good job. All right, what book's there? This book, like I said, this book just makes me happy because it's green and spring is right around the corner and St. Patrick's Day where everybody's wearing green, right? Right? Okay, well, we have got a game that we are going to make that goes along with that book, okay? So the first thing I did, I'll show you the finished product, okay? I've got a game board here. Now, what I did was because I was tired of winter days being dark and wet and gray, I wanted some color. So the first thing I did was I went onto the internet and I went to the Google site and I Googled free game board template, okay? Because that's what we've got here, a free game board template. And it popped up all different kinds of designs and configurations of the spaces and everything. And I decided to go with this one, okay? So just ask someone in your family, ask permission, if they will get online for you and see if they can find you a free game board. And then, oh my goodness, imagine all of the different games you can create once you have your own, you have your game board, okay? You can make it any way you want. Well, the way I decided to do the game board that we were gonna work on today, we're gonna do some rainbow writing with our game board. So I got the colors of the rainbow. And what colors are the colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, right? Right, there's also indigo in there, but for the most part, just the we concentrate on red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, okay? So I colored all of my squares and I did a pattern. I just, I did the colors of the rainbow over and over and over and over till I was finished. And then I thought we would concentrate on the three power words or three words that was in this book. The, 
is and green. And that, so then I just wrote the words over and over throughout the game board, okay? Now you will see that I did, I did like six in a row. The is green, is the green. And then I have a silver star sticker. Well, in my game that I created, if you land on the silver star sticker, you lose a turn, okay? So with that being said, we've got the start of our game. We've got that completed. Now the directions on how to play the game. We're going to need a spinner. And what I did was I took a spinner from one of our other board games that we have, and we'll use that, okay? So we've got our spinner, and then we need our game pieces. And I just took our little, little stones, little glass stones that we have, and I'll be two different people, okay? So we'll put our pieces up there at the start, and then you need a piece of paper where you're going to write the three power words that we were concentrating on, the, is, and green. And you're gonna write it at the top of your paper. Now, because I work with four-year-olds at Building Blocks, I was using our sentence paper, where it has our start line, we have our midline, which is the dotted line, and then we have the red line or the pink line on the bottom, and that's showing us where to stop. So we start, and we stop and then we have that midline. So that's the paper that we were concentrating on. Now you're also going to need markers or crayons or colored pencils of the colors in the rainbow, okay? So now, do we have everything we need in front of us, Miss Penny? Let me think this through. Yes, we've got all our pieces. All right, so we are ready to go. So we get our little spinner and let's give it a good spin. Do, do, do. Oh, I got the number two. Okay, so I need to move, move two spaces. One, two. Okay, what power word did I get? I got the word is. You're right. Now, what color square do I have there? I have a yellow square. So that means I need to get my sentence paper out. I'm going to get my yellow marker, and then I'm going to find the word is. Is that it? No, that's the word the. Is that the word is? Yes, that's the word is. And I am going to write is in yellow on my paper right there. I, S, is. Probably kind of hard to see. All right, player two. Da, 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 that's me. Let's give it another flip. Oh, and that player's going to get the number five. So we're going to move five squares. One two, three, four, five. Okay, what color am I on? I'm on purple, so I need, I know I'm gonna need my purple marker. And what word did I land on? The, you're right, T-H-E, the. Okay, so I get my writing paper back out. I've got my purple crayon, and now I'm gonna write the word the. T-H-E. E. And you notice how I'm concentrating on starting at the top, going down to the bottom to start, and when I have my lowercase letter, making sure that I'm right there on that midline. So I had the purple, the. Okay, let's go one more round. Give it another good spin. Ah, two again! <laughs> okay. So let's move two squares. One, two. Oh no, what did this person get? I got the same word again. I got the word is, I-S is. And what color square is it? It's a blue square. So you need either a blue pencil, a blue crayon, a blue marker, and I'm gonna write the word is again. I-S is. All right, so you see how simple that is, boys and girls? You just would continue on till you get to the end do -do 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 -do, and hope you do not land on a silver star and lose a turn. And then you will have a whole, hopefully you'll have a whole page full of rainbow writing, rainbow words that you are learning, okay? Now, you can do this any way you wanna do it. If you want to add numbers in there that you're working on learning or maybe uh, the ABCs would be a good one to do or you could draw shapes on there. You could make your own game however you want to make, whatever you want to create. And I think it's fun to play board games. I think everybody should play board games at their homes. Um, 
It's a lot of fun to get all your family together with you and you could play and have loads of fun with just a few simple ingredients, okay? So, well, I guess that's it for me today. So I will say bye-bye, butterfly, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Enjoy.